So a couple of uh, months ago, Vice Rhino was issued a challenge to parody the undesigned coincidences argument using um, the Lord of the Rings. Obviously, this was a challenge I felt that I had to come up with, that I had to step up to the plate and address as well. Um, this is not that video, however. And um, I'm currently working on it. I've got it mostly written up here. Um, but before I start filming on that, I need to figure out a way to um, get my computer to grab a clip of the actual challenge. So that video is like incoming sometime in the next month, hopefully. But um, until then, uh, here's a little taste. Uh, so fun fact, all of the uh, dwarf songs in Tolkien's works are heavily iambic and 95% of them are what I mislabeled as iambic quadrameter, but uh, it's actually, you know, iambic tetrameter. So four iams as opposed to Shakespeare's iambic pentameter, which is five iams. Um, a fun uh, side effect of this is it's really easy to fit them in the scansion of sheesh of sea shanties and um drop a you know drop a comment if you'd like me to do what i call if you'd like to see me record what i like to call drunken baggins which is um blunt the knives to the scansion of um drunken sailor but um for this as is titled below is uh, Durin, the, uh, the Shanty of Durin, which is um, the Song of Durin, written by J, you know, written by J.R.R. Tolkien, just um, sung in a way to emphasize the I am's and kind of help illustrate how I'm, what I mean by if you do, if you sing it right, you can easily make it sound like a shanty. The world was young, the mountains green, no stain yet on the moon was seen. No words were laid on stream or stone when Dorin woke and walked alone. He named the nameless hills and dells. He drank from yet untasted wells. He stooped and looked in mirror on mirror and saw a crown of stars appear as gems upon a silver thread. Above the shadows of his head. The world was fair, the mountains tall. In elder days before the fall. Of mighty kings in Nargothrond. And Gondolin. Who now beyond the western seas have passed away. The world was fair in Durin's day. A king he was on carven throne and many pillared halls of stone with golden roof and silver floor and rooms of power upon the door the light of sun and star and moon in shining lamps 
of crystal hewn, unhindered by cloud nor shade of night, they shone forever fair and bright. Their hammer on the anvil smote, their chisel clove and grave wrote, their forge was blade and bound was hilt, the delver mined the mason belt, their barrel pearl and opal pale and metal wrought like fishes mail, buckler and corslet axe and sword and shining spears were laid in hoard unwearied then were durin's folk and beneath the mountains music woke the harper's harp the minstrels sang and at the gates the trumpets rang the world is gray the mountains old the forges fire is ashen cold no harp is rung no hammer falls the darkness dwells in Durin's halls. A shadow lies upon his tomb. In Moria, in Kazadun. But still the sunken stars appear in dark and windless mirror, mirror. There lies his crown in water deep till Durin wakes again from sleep so um that that was the uh shanty of durin um hope you know i know it's something different in terms of my channel but hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed a taste of um or rather an example of um somewhere where you know of where my argument line uh is going in terms of the you know undesigned coincidences um in the legendarium as a whole i'm expanding it out from the lord of the rings because honestly the lord of the rings proper is my weakest point of knowledge when it comes to the Legendarium. I'm more well-read on the Silmarillion and the Hobbit. But, um, you know, if you liked it, leave a like. Uh, leave, a, leave a comment if you want me to, you know, do Drunken Baggins, or if you're looking forward to my me doing, you know, undesigned uh, coincidences and... In terms of the Twitter poll I did um, when I first, you know, heard the the challenge and I'm like, okay, I've got to do something on this. Um, the uh, the the Twitter poll I asked about um, how I should count my sources was uh, tied between um, do it with the meta textual uh the meta narrative in mind in that you know the the legendarium is a work of uh, translations and do what i want and i wanted to lean that way anyways so um i i but i'll explain further in the video proper anyways remember indoctrination 
It's a hell of a drug.